Where are we going today, guys? Florida! Florida. <laughs> what are we going to do? We're going, We're going to go to me in Florida. Yeah. It also and Universal. Universal. Morning, everyone. I think the kids uh, showed their excitement enough so you guys can uh, see we're about to go to Florida. We're going back to America because we are taking an epic Disney and Universal trip. We're doing five days at Disney, two at Universal, and then Alex and I are actually getting four nights on our own without the kids. We're ditching them with the grandparents and having some fun on our own. We're really excited. Traveling with kids is no small feat. I might try to show you guys a little bit of the chaos that it takes. As of right now, we've been up for about two hours. We've loaded the car. We've got almost all our carry-ons packed. So we're almost ready to go. Um, I hope you guys follow along. I hope that we can do a good job filming at Disney because anyone who's ever been to Disney knows it's a little chaotic and crazy. It'll be Florida in the summer, so we're gonna glisten a lot. <laughs> um, and you know, it'll be wet probably with afternoon thunderstorms but we're really looking forward to it. We have not taken the kids to the theme parks in three years. And the last time we went, like Evie was a little kid. She still had to sit in a stroller and Landon was barely tall enough to ride some of the coasters. Now they're all tall enough. Landon can ride all the Disney rides. Evie can ride everything but one ride. So we hope that we can introduce them to some fun new attractions, eat all the snacks. I can't wait for some of those foods. Butterbeer, I'm coming for you. Uh, anyways, we hope you follow along and let's go start this journey. We made it to the airport. We parked in long-term parking. We um, saw an airplane. Yeah, I'm gonna see if we can get another one while we're waiting. So, in case you were curious what a family of four has to take with us to uh, for an international trip, we have three suitcases, one medium, two large. We have large because we gotta bring back all the Chick-fil-A sauce and coffee <laughs> while we're in the States. We each have a carry-on backpack, and then <clears throat> these bad boys are gonna go in a carrier and get uh, sent with us so that the kids have car seats. I'll show you the little bag we have. We got it off of Amazon and they have lasted many, many trips. Yep, we'll show what it looks like <clears throat> when it's unloaded. But yeah, they have little um, straps. That way we can put them on like a backpack and so convenient and easy. What yeah, the, the car seat carriers and they fold up into this nice little bag. It's perfect. There we go. Here's what the uh, car seat looks like in the little bag. You just uh, pull the little strings to tighten it and it has straps on the back. I would highly, highly, highly recommend it if you're flying with uh, car seats. It makes life a million times easier. And actually, if you have the infant car seats, you can fit two in this, but because we have our kids are older and they have the big booster, you can only get one. But you can squeeze two in there. Where are we? The airport. We are at the airport, right, Evie? Woohoo! We did it. <clears throat> in a little bit, we're gonna go to our gate. We're gonna head off. Yeah. Woohoo! Check in, so check in and security. It took us two hours. It is summertime. The travel was insane. So if you're planning to travel this summer, make sure you get here early. We we got here four hours ahead of time and it was just enough time. That's insane. We just bought some waters and yeah, we're just sitting down resting for a couple minutes and then like we have our gate already. So craziness, but from here on out, smooth sailing. And after a, <laughs> after a certain point, the pilot does all the work. So woohoo. The pilot of our plane. Yay!
we did have a good fight, and so we drove to Mimi's house, and we have a rental car. We landed in Orlando, right? Yes. We and so now, we, it's gonna, we're gonna be doing Uncle Eddie's birthday party. Or Uncle Eddie, in case you have an Uncle Eddie. <laughs> Yep, so we landed about 5.30, yeah. um, and then we got our bags, we went through customs, and then <clears throat> we picked up our rental car. It was a little crazy. We had some stuff happen. Landon wasn't feeling particularly well, so we didn't film anything because it was just kind of a crazy time, and we didn't have um, phone service because our phones are UK phones, so we had to drive from the airport to Mimi's house without any kind of directions or GPS, and it felt like very 1980s, like, leaving without <clears throat> internet or phone service. It was insane. But we got here, we settled in, we saw the cousins, we got to see everybody, and uh, the kids went to bed about 8.30 and slept till 6, and now it's the next day. Um, I'm not sure we have to ask, because I don't know how comfortable other people are about filming, so we might show a little bit today. I'll try to get, if nothing else, clips of just the kids playing around a little with bit to add balloons. with water balloons. Maybe. Yeah, we're having water balloons. And we so. might be able to fill out the pool. And you might see this. Yeah, so <clears throat> we'll see. All right, so we'll kind of play it by ear. But that's our travel day. That wraps up our travel day, and this is our first day in Florida. Yay, yay, Hooray. Yay. Hi, everyone. Hi. I think we're going to include, I don't know, this might be our own uh, vlog. Not sure yet, so you're getting kind of a behind the scenes look. Anyways, Landon, is it check in day? Yeah. So, what are we starting? We're starting. Our vlogs! Our Disney trip! Oh my goodness, this kid. Yeah, so we're starting our Disney trip. We arrived, <clears throat> we stopped at a grocery store and got some food, and now we have eaten and we're about to settle in, so I'm gonna give you a little uh, house tour. We are, we got a house in Kissimmee, so it's right outside Disney. Um, so far, it looks really nice, so this is the entrance. Um, I'm gonna go straight first, bud. And you walk in, sorry about all our luggage. As you can see, we have a lot of stuff. There is a dining room over here with six chairs. Daddy. There's a bar area with two, two stools. And then to the right is the kitchen. I already like this kitchen. It's got a lot of counter space. I've been very impressed. As you see, we, like I said, we went to the grocery store, so all our, all our stuff is already unpacked and kind of all over the place. But there's a fridge, sink, dishwasher. They also have a Keurig and a drip coffee pot, which I thought was interesting. My mother-in-law, had, has a K-cup machine, so I brought it, but I actually prefer ground coffee, so I have both. It's a win all around. And then in the kitchen at the far end is another little table in a breakfast nook area, which was perfect. I loved it. Really? They do provide a, ba a high chair for babies. Very large fridge with all our eggs. I don't know what Evie's doing. Oh my god. I ate pantry empty. <clears throat> empty pantry laundry room why don't you open it and see Landon doesn't know I know <laughs> hey hey top load washer which, which, I love those so much how do you unlock these let's see <laughs> there you go open it and see ooh what's in here we gotta turn the light on we have, <laughs> there's a tandem bike. That's awesome. It's a game room. So we have a pool table, foosball, and air hockey. Well, we're not gonna do it right now. We're doing the tour. So they converted the garage into a little game room. All right, Landon, let's, uh, oh, and an extra chair. Landon, I need you to get out so we can close the door again. Aww. Come on, bud. But I really want we can check it out later. We've got the house for 10, uh, 10 days. We've got plenty of time, but i got to close the... i got to close and lock I'm this. Gonna I'm going to go in there to lock. Oh, can I'm you... Landon, can you go ask Dad to lock the garage door? 
All right. We're walking, we're walking. I will take you. He's at the front. Thank you. And then here is the living room. I opened it. There's the couches. Really large TV. They provided some games underneath here. And then, of course, any Florida rental home wouldn't be complete without a pool. There's the pool. We um, have a pool. We do, I was just saying. And I'm back. So that's the pool area. And here, and here. And at the back of the house, we have a bedroom. Pretty big. Large bed. And then right off that is the master room, which is what we'll be staying in. Uh, that's definitely a king size bed. Okay, There's a TV, good. and we actually have our own entrance to the back porch. Mommy knows where she's going to be having her coffee in the morning. Bathroom, shower, looks like a standard shower head. Tub, two sinks, one sink is over here. Hi, there I am behind the camera. I think, and then of course the bat, the toilet off in its own room. All right. There's always a toilet. Off in its own world. All right, let's go back, and I will show you the other two bedrooms and bathroom that are at the front of the house. So there's the there's the other bathroom. Pretty standard. And then here is the third room. This is a queen size bed. So the other room that's net right off the master is a king, another king. But this is a queen. Looks kind of tall too. Originally I was going to put Evie in there, but it's kind of tall. And then bedroom number four is a Star Wars bedroom. Woohoo! We have. Po Star Wars posters. I want this room. Very cool. And then I like BB-8 pillows. No. This is really cool. The kids are arguing over who gets the, this room. They're already debating over it. Oh my goodness, listen to them. Anyways, so that is the house. That's the house tour. Thank you. Hello, uh, we'll, we'll give you an update maybe tomorrow on how everyone slept. And, and we'll show you well, yeah, we might go to Disney Springs, but it is like almost seven o'clock already, so it would be a very late night. So I we'll uh, we'll decide. That's what we're gonna go decide now. Hi guys, we decided to go to Disney Springs. We get, get our magic bands, woohoo, and some Gideons. Gotta get Gideons. Gotta get Gideons. Lock the car. Da da Daddy forgets that we have to lock the rental car because it doesn't just automatically do it. I didn't mention in my last clip that it took us about 20 minutes from our Airbnb to here. And we parked in the orange garage. Level 4 orange garage. But yeah, it, it really wasn't a bad drive. All the way to D D uh, Disney Springs too. And uh, Hollywood Studios is the closest park. And it's going to take us like 10 minutes. Which we're doing tomorrow, so I'm really excited about. Yay! Look, 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 look. Characters in flight balloon. Here we go. We parked in the orange garage. We should have parked in Lime. This is what happens when you've been away for three years. Three years, guys. We just got to Gideon's. That's their um, card of the month. And we're very excited because they have the peanut butter chocolate cake today. Friday it's available and I'm so excited. It was like a 20 minute wait. So we're waiting for it. What? You see? Oh, it's like on the card, right? It's pretty cool. Do you see the cat with wings? Evie immediately noticed the cat with wings. You would, Evie.
she was. Ooh, and the top hat. I really like the top hat on the shelf. Look, they got a picture of George Washington up there. And a framed bottom right. George Washington, that's a uh, unique. Oh, look at these cakes. <gasps> there it is. There it is. Yes. I've heard that one's really good. So we just went in to Gideon's and I got this bad boy. Oh, he's so good. Yeah, it just means it's great. And we got the peanut butter cake. We were too early for the the dark coconut or the dark cookie. I mean, the dark I coffee I one. How. But we did get the Andy's mint cake the pistachio toffee cookie and the peanut butter cookie and the peanut butter cookie we've never had before so we'll try that but we're gonna do it back home because it's way too hot to get it out now and break it open however this guy that guy's not coming home I'm tearing into him as soon as I stop recording all right when you've been away from the world for three years you have to stop and uh, figure out where you need to go. We had to look it up on our phone because it's been so long. Yes, we need to go. And we are all enjoying that Gideon thing. That just shows my love for you guys. How much do I love you guys? I'm sharing my coffee with you guys. Not just one step, multiple. Love, man. A parent's love. And in case you guys are wondering, this is what a Friday night at Disney Springs looks like. Yeah, Hop in place. July. Hop in. So now that we got uh, the important stuff done, the coffee and cookies, the coffee and cookie business taken care of, we have to go to guest relations because I don't know if I mentioned this yet, but halfway through our nine hour international plane ride, a certain mom realized that all our tickets are in our fireproof safe back in England thousands and thousands of miles away and across an ocean. Fortunately, we uploaded them to, sorry, Alex was walking away and I had to pause and see where he went. Um, fortunately, we uploaded all our vouchers onto our apps, so they are on there. So we have proof that we have them and the ticket numbers are there and we're hoping it won't be an issue. But right now we're gonna go find out if the Disney ones are good and later on one of our down days, we're gonna go over to Universal and see if they're okay. We're keeping our fingers crossed because let me tell you guys, that was a big goof. You wanna, you wanna hear about colossal mistakes? That was probably the biggest one we've ever made when coming to Disney. But even, even um, veteran Disney goers like us can make these kind of rookie mistakes. It happens, but it's okay. It's actually not too bad of an evening out either, is it Landon? Oh, he saw a BB-8 balloon. Was that cool? Oh, it's already gone. I'm sure we'll see plenty more. Don't you worry. BB-8 balloons. BB-8. Hey, can you hold it by the bottom part? We don't want the top because the top part might break. And I'd be so sad if you spilled my coffee, bud. I would be so de I would be so sad. It happens. Accidents happen, and I wouldn't be upset or anything. I would just. I would have to make a frowny face. I'd go, oh. Right? We would all go, aw. We would all go, <laughs> Alright. The day is saved. We have our tickets now. At least for Disney. We can get into Disney now. <laughs> so, These the, the expensive ones, so... Yeah, that's true. Thank goodness. Honestly, we had to buy the Universal ones. That's a lot Whew. less than the... Uh, a lot of stress off of our shoulders now. Thank, go thank goodness Disney customer service came, came, in, came in handy. We're headed into the co-op to try to find some magic bands for our kiddos. I think Evie wants a Star Wars. Landon wants Lion King, but I don't think there's gonna be a Lion King, but you never know. This is a magical place, so maybe. Let's go see. I don't need any more Dooney and Burks, but oh, look at this one. It's Winnie the Pooh. It's so cute. I know, I said that. I was like, I don't, really, I don't have one, but oh, I do have a soft spot because of my kids. We've read it so many times. <clears throat> a backpack. Very cute. No, we're not getting it. We are in the pin trader store now because we couldn't find anything in the co-op or world of Disney. I don't think we were looking. Or maybe they're um, they're reducing their inventory because I know they're coming out with uh, the Magic Band Plus soon, so I don't think they have a lot. But Landon said before we started looking for Magic Bands that he wanted a Lion King Magic Band, and I was like, I was like, there's no way. Lion King's such an older movie. I never in a million years thought there'd be a Lion King Magic Band. Yes, right. I found a Lion King. Bum, 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 bum. He found a Lion King 
magic band. This is the story concert if you like Mike or Mobile. Yeah, if you like Pumba and snacks, because really it's just about Pum you know Pumba's favorite snacks. We do love our snacks. Um, Alex, Evie, and I didn't find any that we love enough to buy, so we're gonna wait and look in the parks tomorrow and see if there's better ones. Because Evie wants a Star Wars one, and they had a Baby Grogu and an Obi Wan Kenobi, but it just wasn't what she really wanted. So we're gonna we're gonna hold off. We're gonna wait till we find something that we really really like. But I'm telling you. She says the baby Grogu one was cute. She just is looking for something else, which is fine. I thought these were adorable too. So over in you know England, we have a lot of coins, and these are some pretty cute little bags that you could hold coins in. I think they're cute. That's just me though. So we found Land in a Magic Band, as I just said, and we left the store, and it's about, almost, it's almost nine o'clock, so we wanna get home, get to bed. I have to unpack everything, but that's why I had coffee. I got the energy. And, oh man, I was gonna make this our outro, but I think I think this is the pre-outro, because I gotta have us trying the food. Oh, good catch, Dad. Okay, so this is the lead up to the outro where we try our cookies. Just kidding, we'll be back. All right, now this is the final, the final vlog. We're gonna try, tonight we're gonna try the peanut butter crunch cookie. Look at how big that is. Did you know it's almost half a pound? Almost half a pound. Chip. Are you guys ready to try it? Yes. You're ready? Oh. It looks oh. yummy. <laughs> nice. Um, I think I found it. Is this what you're looking for? Oh, he's looking for a real knife. All right. Mm. Look at that. It was so thick, you just cut through it. Oh, my goodness. I almost put my hand by that. Not smart. Hold on. There it is. That's, the, that's what the inside looks like. Oh, that's Daddy's hand. Oh, look at that. Peanut butter goodness. Can you show that without my toe? No. Yeah. <gasps> There's your piece, Evie. There's your piece. Because it's really rich and we want it to last a while. So go ahead and have a bite. Tell us what you think. You like it? Do you like it, Lemon? Yeah, I love it. You love it. Not just like love. Ooh, that's a big piece. Let's see. Hmm. Okay. That's good. It's gonna sound kind of redundant, but it tastes like a peanut butter cookie. You know, those cookies that you roll out and then you stick the fork in in two directions and you bake. It tastes like that. It's not, you would think it would sound sweeter with all the chocolate chips and stuff, but it's not. And I like that. I like that it's not a super sweet cookie. It, it, it um, you can taste the roasted peanuts in it. It's not a, a sweet like Jif peanut butter sweet. It's a, it's a roasted peanut taste. I don't mind it. I wish I had my peanut butter cold brews to drink with it because I think that would make the perfect combination. But yeah, one cookie tasted down. We're not going to do any more tonight because it's, it is almost 10 o'clock at night. So we got to shower and be ready for bed and I have to unpack after these guys are in bed and make sure that we're ready to go to our first Disney park tomorrow. Woohoo! And we'll film as much as we can. We will, we will try. <laughs> We want to we capture the excitement.